Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskies. Today I'm in Ireland, today I have something from the Powers Court distillery called Fir Cullen. Five Elements. Ooh, it's 18 years old. I'm like, yeah, it's 46%. Okay. In Germany, I paid 145 euros. At, in, in Ireland itself, at the distillery, 180 Wow, why is it cheaper in Germany? Well, we have lower um, value added tax and we have much lower um, excise taxes on our whiskey. So the, the amount of alcohol in here costs less to sell in Germany than it does in Ireland. Whiskey base number 170010. So you have this wonderful box. First of all, I like that. I like the nice little sign. Reminds me of something that I once had with a um, Jameson, also 18 year old with the same little plaque on here. And then you have this down here, and then you have the fur column. Very, very well done. And you open it up, and you have the wonderful bottle in here. The bottle has a necklace. So this tiny little thing here with uh, the Powers Court on there. What surprised me is that the bottle did not have any type of shrink capsule on the top, but it just had this nice little band going across there. And it was very, very easy to open. All right, let's pour a little bit in the glass, then we can talk about this whole thing a little bit more in a second. Good color, I must admit. Um, I'll tell you why. So, good. In this nice little pamphlet here, we have, of course, the man of the hour. That's Mr. The Master Distiller, Noel Sweeney. He distilled this 18 years ago at the Cooley Distillery. Yay. So after he retired or basically left, um, Beam Centauri took over Cooley and he basically said, by he found a new um, employer with uh, powers courts and he's training the next generation of distillers very well done so we have the five elements and it's divided up into five um, sub points point number one we have here one a single distillery source excellent that was coolie two two types of oak mat maturation it was matured in american white oak and european oak interesting so number three, there are three different finishes. We have red wine, we have ruby port, and we have rum. Interesting. Number four, we have four styles of casks used. X bourbon red wine again, and ruby port again, and rum again. And of course five, you're going, okay, five elements. What are the five casks? No. Number five is the master distiller's touch. Really? Really? I feel cheated. I was expecting five different casks with the five elements. And the fifth is Master's Distiller's Touch. I don't know. Um, sorry, guys. Don't do that. Sorry. If you're going to say five on it, then have something with five. Don't just... Why, four elements would have been more than enough for me. Yes, I know there are other elements in this world, but I'm not really keen on having um, a little bit of my disappointment being here um, given to me. The second thing that I really disliked is nowhere on the bottle do I have the word non-chilled filtered. Nowhere on the bottle do I have non-natural color. So for me, and this is... A, someone who has authority in the whiskey world this is a chill filtered with coloring if it's not on the label it's the contract with the consumer put it on there people all right learn and i'm really really serious about this because this is something we want 46 percent. i'm sure it's non-chilled filtered four different casks with this beautiful color why would you color something in the wrong color that e 158 can't give you put it on there so that we know if you say it's on the website i don't care um, i'm buying the bottle the contract is here the label put that information on the label there's a lot of things on here that i'm going to say are necessary all right so um we have the limited 18-year-old single malt Irish whiskey. It's distilled, matured, and bottled in Ireland. Wow, of course it is. Enjoy a sublime marriage of expertly selected casks, producing a symphony of flavor in this rare and exceptional single malt Irish whiskey. All right, rare and exceptional. We don't need that. non chill filtered, natural color. Perfect. That's where it belongs, all right? So please put that in there. That would be absolutely stunning. 
All right, so what am I going to compare this to? I have a lot of people that actually say, Jason, I watch your videos just because I will never, ever get anything you review. But often I can actually have the comparison whiskey. So the comparison whiskey is an 18-year-old Irish whiskey itself, matured in four different casks. Uh, um, I can get this at the moment in Germany for 99 euros. So this is my comparison whiskey, which is basically 45 euros cheaper than this. Now, this is limited to 1,500 bottles. Very, very nice. This has no limitation at the moment, but um, since William and Grant built the distillery in Ireland themselves, I expect that this will be something that will disappear from the shelves for many, many years to come. Maybe not this year, but maybe next year, maybe 2023. Who knows when that's going to happen. All right, so um, let's smell. Beautiful, beautiful, fruity symphony. I used that word actually in German before I read the back, the bottom back of the bottle. It is a symphony. It's a harmony. It's an orchestra. It's beautiful. But the red um, wine, the Bordeaux red wine, dominate. Then there might be some type of broody ruby port. And at the end, I don't get the dark rum. I don't get rum. I'm sure it's in there. I'm sure it gives a sweetness and so on, but I don't get it. All right, over here we have ex bourbon, yay, the same thing here. We have Oroloso Sherry, we have Port, and we have Madeira. And the thing that really hits you is Madeira, and then that combination that we love, or I love, from Bushmill 16 with the Sherry and the Port together. Mm. One day I'm going to actually have to do that. I'm going to actually have to buy um, two barrels. So I'm doing that's my, I bought my 11th barrel. Um, just this week, I'm working on number 12, um, uh, next month or the end of this month. And then I'm going to one day, not this time, but I'm going to actually have to marry those. Have a have one with pear, short port, one, have one with sherry, marry them together, and then bottle it and get something beautiful like this. Mmm. Ah, Madeira. So talking about Madeira, I just have um, bought a cask of Annandale with Madeira, a cask share that's very, very good with my um, super fans. And I am going to also buy, as I said, the second cask, which I'm working on is from Bowen, um, Irish whiskey distillers. And that will also be a uh, Madeira cask. We decided on that a long time ago. And I did a little um, <laughs> survey of my super fans what type of Annandale cast they, ha ha they wanted to have. I thought it would be STR, and many, many, many people chose Madeira, so why not? All right, so 46%, 41.3%. Sorry for rambling about the casks I get to buy over here, but it is a privilege, and Madeira is something that triggered that. A little bit of sulfur, I'm sorry. I think the red Bordeaux wine cask had a tiny little bit of sulfur in it. I'm a sulfur detector, I guess. The nose is better than average, but not wow. And so this is a 180 euro bottle in Ireland, 145 in Germany. It should be wow. This is wow. This is good. Cheers. Mm-hmm. It's a tick hotter than I thought it would be. The 46% do push a little bit, do are active in the background. <clears throat> a little bit more than an 18-year-old whiskey should have, I think. Now, this has a beautiful, beautiful ba basic base foundation at C ex bourbon casks. Unfortunately, there was no information here on the bottle or on the website that actually told me how long the the finish was in the Bordeaux, in the port, in the rum. Was it two months? Was it two days? Was it two years? I don't know. I couldn't find any information there. So sorry. Same thing here, by the way. Um, there's no real information on the bottle that says that, does it? Nope. Getting too old to read the little small stuff here. Mm. At least without my glasses, what I'm not going to wear here for the um, the show. All right. Um, good stuff. Not great. This is like a B minus, which is fabulous, actually. All right. But this is actually much better. Mm. 
there is a little bit of problem with the Talamundu. At the beginning, it's like, oh, it's a little bit watery. And then it's like, wow, this flavor explosion. And what's really, really, really fantastic is the finish here. The finish is this, I think I use the word symphony actually here, the symphony of all these different things going on. Uh, it's beautiful. It's it's it's, it's just um, a potpourri of fruitiness, and that's just great. And it's long-lasting. Very, very nice finish. Very, very well done. As I said, I think these are going to disappear from the market soon, if they have, they have not already in the States. Um, if you can even get them in the States, I don't know. I know they're... Um, over here, still available in Europe, and I'm going to have to bunker one or two, if not maybe three of these. All right, going back to the fur cullen, um, I'm going to just add a few drops of water. It's 46%. See if something happens, a little bit of a difference here. Question. I should know this. Where and when does the chill filtration take place? Is it before it goes into the barrel? I don't think so. It's before it goes in the bottle, right? Pretty sure about that. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. Because I'm thinking that it was before it went in the barrel. Um, I know the chill filtration, not the chill filtration, the uh, Lincoln County method um, that um, charred, or what is it? Um, uh, maple. Sugar maple charcoal filtration happens before it goes in the barrel. So, and Gentleman Jack is special because it happens then before it goes in the bottle again one more time. The red wine is really, really what's the dominant factor here. The ruby port is, is secondary. And for me, the dark rum, as I said, is non-existent. And I'm not a great big fan of the red wine in my Irish whiskeys. B minus. My favorite, sorry. Um, 1,500 barrels, barrels, bottles. Um, I think that uh, Powers Court, No Sweeney bought a few um, more um, barrels than just these. Um, there's been some, there's been a single barrel for Germany with Muscatel finish um, with 18 years. There's a normal 18 years. I'm sure they're going to do other experiments with this as well. And there's going to be some interesting things that come out on the market. So we'll have to see and wait and see what happens. Interesting distillery. I own a cask here at Powers Court as well. I'm looking forward to actually filling it up maybe in 20, was it, I think it was eight year process. So we did it 2020. So it's going to be 2028, I think. And that's going to be really, really interesting to see what cask strength. It was an ex-bourbon cask, what we first filled, what we'll get there. Um, Powers Court is a great place to go if we can travel again and when we can travel again. Go visit the, the grounds, the mansion, um, the, the distillery as well as the waterfall. Um, play some golf, do some stuff there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. I can highly recommend it. It's um, well, well worth it. If this bottle's worth it, in my opinion, no, it's more of a D. This is something that if you're a whiskey expert, of, if you're an expert of Irish whiskey, try it. Um, get your hands on a sample and say, oh, I tasted it. Oh, okay, it was very good. Voila. But it wasn't really worth the price, personal opinion. Thank you very much for watching. Whiskey Jason here. Please like, subscribe, tell others. Maybe even share this video with others on social media. And thank you very much for all your effort to get the right labeling non-chilled filtered, non-natural color here on all the different bottles all over the world. Bye-bye.